Hello everybody, Tom here from Monolani 3-Gun, and just a quick update before the July 4th weekend match. A few things we want to cover. Uh, we're going to be shooting on both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, reduced squad size. We're going to do check-in in two phases and have everybody spaced apart throughout the park and start everybody on time on both Saturday and Sunday. There'll be an email going out Friday night with the starting times for Saturday and Sunday in more detail, and that'll be sent out through Pack to Score. Next, I want to cover uh, our point series shooters uh, real quickly. First off, we're going to look at the optics, or formerly tactical optics, standings uh, for one match. Um, you have Pierre Leclerc out front. He is our champion from last year. He looks to be ahead in the match points. He has seven, almost 703 points out of 750 for that first match. You can go online to practice score and shift on over to here. And you can Go to practice score and Google Anilani 3-Gun June match and you'll see the there's two versions on there. One's for the whole match and one is for the point series shooters and it has Extreme Gunworks point series listed. This is the current standings and if you click on your division like I am here you can switch from tactical ops to open 2x4. We have 16 shooters in the uh, open 2x4 division or 2x4 open and we have in our tactical ops division we have 46 shooters this season. Um, as the season goes on we're going to have these uh, automatically update as the matches update we'll be updating practice score and you'll be able to see everything on practice score for the series and how the points are gaining for everybody and where your standings are you'll see the classification percentages that you selected uh, prior to your first match here and that will give you all a good understanding of where you stand throughout the season quick easy and you don't have to keep emailing me this season we're going to be going over the stage plans one at a time in the vlog ahead of the matches just to give everybody a clue as to what's coming in. Our first stage of the match for July 4th weekend is called Thank You Thomas Jefferson and it is sponsored by AIMCAM who is our stage sponsor for the season, one of them. The stage is going to consist of six steel targets on a plate rack, five clays on pin stakes, birdshot only, spread around, and six paper targets, rifle, PCC, or pistol. The steel targets on the plate rack are pistol, PCC, or birdshot. And as usual, our scoring is per UML 8.14 EMG scoring. Next. Stage 2, which is sponsored by Coda Evolution, is on Bay 1 in our park. And it's 5 knockdown steel targets, pistol, PCC, or birdshot. 5 steel targets on the Texas Star, again, pistol, PCC, or birdshot. 4 clays on pin stakes, birdshot only. And 3 paper targets, rifle, PCC, or pistol. Next, Stage 3, which will be on Bay 3, is sponsored by Easy Accuracy, and the stage name is Thank You Robert R. Livingston, and it consists of 10 KD steel targets, pistol, PCC, or birdshot, 6 clays on pin stakes, birdshot, 8 paper targets, rifle, PCC, pistol, or slug, and 2 spinners pistol or birdshot. For stage four, our sponsor is Geisley Automatics and the name of the stage is Thank You Roger Sherman. On this stage, which is on our north side, we get to our flying clays. 
We have four knockdown steel targets, pistol, PCC, or birdshot, three clays on pin stakes, birdshot only, then we have the Mega Swinger. The Mega Swinger has one steel activator plate, which can be shot with birdshot, pistol, or PCC, and must be shot first. Two steel plates, birdshot, pistol, or PCC, and then you have two clays, also birdshot only. Then we have the Colt Speed Steel Popper, which is birdshot only because it activates the one aerial clay. And you have nine paper targets, which can be rifle, PCC, pistol, no slug, no slug on this stage because of the aerial. There are two hidden penalty targets that shoot throughs, this is a reminder, shoot throughs count for score. So there are two penalty targets behind uh, standard targets. Stage five, sponsored by RTE targets. Name of the stage, thank you Benjamin Franklin. This is on the 100 yard long range in the middle of the competition area on Bay 5. There are six knockdown steel targets, pistol, PCC, or birdshot. You have six clays on pin stakes, only birdshot. Seven paper targets, which can be taken with rifle, PCC, or pistol. You have one Colt Speed Steel Popper, which activates two aerial clays. The popper and the two clays, birdshot only. And then you have five long range targets downrange, which can be taken with rifle, pistol, or PCC. However, if you're using a rifle, all shots from the rifle must be fired from a single position on the barrier wall. Stage six on Bay Six, sponsored by Streamlight, who is also our RO workshop sponsor. On this stage, which is on Bay 6, you have seven steel targets, pistol, PCC, or birdshot, four clay targets on pin stakes, birdshot only, one aerial clay activated by the one Colt steel popper, which is only birdshot only for both items, and then you have nine paper targets, which are rifle, PCC, or pistol. Stage seven. Stage 7 sponsor is White Oak Armament, and the stage is called Thank You Matthew Thornton. It's on the 300 yard range of the membership ranges at Anilani, at the end of the parking lot. There are four long range steel over 100 yards. There is one long range steel that is approximately at 100 yards. And then you have eight clay birds, which are bird shot only. All long range steel must be shot with your rifle resting on the 4x4 bench stand, which is at the end of the free fire zone. Okay, you're going to have to watch for the emails from Practice Score if you're registered and uh, from the newsletter about coming uh, and checking in each day on Saturday and Sunday. We'll be sending that information out tomorrow afternoon. Um, Check-in will be in the lower area by Bay A again by the lower parking lot. So please make sure to uh, meet us all there. Take care.